The federal government has a unique obligation with regard to the American Indian population. Based on that unique obligation, Congress has routinely adopted laws offering special treatment to American Indians. In Morton v. Mankari, we explore the intersection of those laws and equal protection rights. The Indian Reorganization Act of 1934 required the Bureau of Indian Affairs to give an employment preference to American Indians. Initially, that employment preference only manifested itself in hiring, but in 1972, the Bureau extended the preference to internal promotions. Non-Indian Bureau employees, including C.R. Mankari, filed a class action against the Secretary of the Interior, Rogers Morton, and other officials. The employees alleged that the Indian Preference Statute was implicitly repealed or revoked by the Equal Employment Opportunity Act of 1972 and violated the Fifth Amendment's Due Process Clause. The District Court held that the Indian Preference Statute was implicitly repealed and enjoined the Bureau from applying any preference in hiring or promotion. Morton and the other officials appealed directly to the United States Supreme Court.